And at night, we went swimming, one kilometer. And he said to myself, I'm really proud of you. I had two incidents in my life that changed it oh, drastically. First years of our university, uh, I was in my dorm sleeping and a man just went into my dorm and uh, put a gun in my face and uh, he was screaming at me because he wanted to rob everything that I had. Uh, so I had to give him everything that I bought with my family and me. My second incident was in a car accident when you know, I just got asleep and the car flipped four times. And uh, when the car stopped flipping, the rosary just was in my lap. It was like a sign that God was with, with me. Blue team is the best blue team in the world. And, and um, I think in history, the blue team, is, we click really well. Our brotherhood, our, you know, we all bring something special to the team. You can see it, how we, how we communicate. The blue team is really strong, not only physically, but mentally, but in the heart as well. We all help each other, no matter what. We all click really well. We all have been, you know, brothers since the day one. Maybe we are not all physically talented, or we don't have the best, you know, attribute running or playing golf or whatever, but I can see everyone giving their hearts on everything. I just want to say that I'm really thankful. You know, no matter what position we all get, we win or not, top 10 or not, this forever will change my life. And my mom, I love you. This is for you. And thankfully, you are in the top five. Your family may not be in England today, but they are at home. So do you have anything to say to them? Mom and Dad, I'm here. I made it top five. I, I dedicate this to you in Puerto Rico. We may be four million people population, but we're here. You see Boricua, and you are in Puerto Rico. All right, congratulations to our fourth finalist, Puerto Rico. Our fifth finalist is This journey began for me back in about a year, just over a year ago in May. I was working in a local supermarket and I got spotted to do the local events of Mr Liverpool. And at first I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do it. But anyway, my mum sat me down and obviously said, do it, you never know where it'll come from it. So I was like, all right. It's been a dream so far, meeting all lads from all around the country, meeting new brothers, basically family to me now. The sports around in Mr. World are really, when they say extreme, they are actually really, really extreme. <laughs> I get shivers when I, when, I, when I think about the pier. To do a thousand and a hundred metre sprint, <laughs> I don't think Usain Bolt can do that, never mind us. So we were literally going and then we got round the other edge and I heard footsteps behind me and then that's when I, I thought about family. That's what boosted me and then I kind of pulled away a little bit and then for me, when I look back and see that they were about 50 metres behind, I was happy then. I come second, so I was, I was really, really happy with that. It's been, it's been quite hard for me through, throughout life, obviously, growing up in, with just, just my mum and my sister. And then my mum went into a really bad way, so she suffered really bad from anxiety. So me and my sister have been carers for my mum for most of her life, and obviously it's been hard. So as soon as we turned 16, we both got jobs. Me and my sister have always worked two jobs. So fitting it all in just, just shows it's possible. and It's hard work, but if you believe in yourself and you want to do it, you, you will achieve and you'll do it yourself. Fingers crossed, my family, my auntie, her sister, will boost their confidence and hopefully she'll be there and then that'll give me the, the greatest feeling of my life. Might even make me cry on stage when I see my mum sitting there watching me. It'd be a dream come true and I'd be winning it myself because she's doing the things what she used to do. 50 lads, I think she'd be over the moon as well because they're all good looking chaps, aren't they? <laughs> so I think she, she'll be happy, she'll be really happy. Not many people get the chance to say, You've been to Mr. World and obviously I've been to the highest level when I was at the lowest level. And if I can do it, anyone can do it.
last one to be called, but how does it feel to be getting so much support at your home country here in England? Well, I just want to say thank you to all the guys that have supported me. I wouldn't be where I was today if it weren't without you, and I just want to say thank you, Mum. Oh, what a sweetie. Well, to let you guys know, so many people came to support him. And congratulations once again to our finalists, and thank you, of course, to the rest of the guys. Frankie, it's over to you. Well, Megan, I'm with some very excited families right now. The mom of Mexico and the family of England. How do you feel about your son making the top five? I'm happy for my Zoom. Oh my God, thank you. Viva Mexico! Thank you so much. And the sister of Mr. England, how do you feel? I'm so proud of him. We knew, he knew we were always going to be here for him. He's got the support of our whole family. Come on, Mr. England, you can do it! Best of luck, best of luck to your contestants. Jordan, it's back to you. Thank you, Frankie. Now, to a new feature. We asked all of our contestants to show their wit and charm to try and find a way to the most beautiful woman in the world and into her heart. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Miss World 2013, Megan Young. <laughs> gentlemen, you have one minute only to convince Megan that you are the man for her. Starting with Mexico. Good luck. All right, this is going to be a big task, but let's do it. Mr. Mexico. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you know, someone told me over there, you, you like to, to go to the movies. Is it right? Oh, I, lo I love to go to the movies. We have too much in common. Yeah, too much in common. We have, have dinner someday. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. All right, so Mr. Mexico is going to take me out on a movie date. All right. Now we have India. How is he going to woo me? Oh my god, Megan, you look so beautiful. I just forgot what I was supposed to say. <laughs> May I? Itni shiddat se maine tumse paane ki koshish ki ki har zarre ne mujhe tumse milane ki saazish ki. Kehte agar kisi cheez ko dil se chaaho तो सारी कायनात तुम्हें उससे मिलाने में लग जाएगी तुम इस दुनिया की सबसे खूबसूरत लड़की हो मेगन आई मीन टू से यू आर द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल गर्ल इन द वर्ल्ड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई मीन टू से इफ यू ट्रूली लव समबडी ऑफ यू ट्रूली वांट समथिंग इन योर लाइफ द एंटायर वर्ल्ड विल कंस्पायर to get that love in your life. That is law of attraction, and that attraction I have for you, Megan. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, India. I was spoken to in such a beautiful language, and I got a lovely flower. All right, now we have Kenya. Kenya, how will you win your way to my heart? How will you top India? First of all, I'm not going to tell you you're beautiful because that's a very cliche, but that, that, that doesn't mean that you're not. Hold my hand. Come with me. You are the woman that I've seen closest to a goddess. I know men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give you a 9 because I'm the one that you need in your life. <laughs> Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Will you be my girlfriend? All right, now we have Mr. Puerto Rico. All right, Mr. Puerto Rico, how are you going to do it? Hi, Megan. These guys have done a really good job, but I know your Filipino heart. So I will talk a little Filipino for you. Ikaw. Talaga maganda. At mula sa puso, I say to you, na mahal kita. I said to her that she is really beautiful. And from my heart, I say I love you. Thank you very much. Wow, I have guys asking me to be their girlfriend, saying I love you. 
I love it. <laughs> Last but not the least, we have England. <laughs> All right, how do the English do it? So, you're looking really stunning tonight. Do you want to feel that? Is that boyfriend material or what? <laughs> and then I just want to go, hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your soul. So what do you say? I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Mr. England. You know what? I like them all. If it was my choice, we would have five Mr. Worlds, but the judges will now decide which one of you will be victorious. Mr. World 2016 will soon be revealed. One of these men will soon join you as the next Mr. World, but first, with the results, we have the chairman of the judging panel, Julia Morley. Now, Julia, has it been a tough decision for your panel? It's been the toughest one yet. Um, everyone had different people. It's, it's taken two days to, to finally get a conclusion from them. So here's the re reply that you need. Thank you very much. 18 months ago in Torquay, Nicholas Pedersen defeated all challenges, including myself, to earn the Mr. World title. Since then, Nicholas has been speaking at key events, assisting on humanitarian projects, and making public appearances. He's even moved from his native Denmark to settle in Australia. It's nearly time for Nicholas to hand over the title to his successor. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, please welcome the reigning Mr. World, Nicholas Pedersen!
So, Nicholas, is there anything you want to say about your time as Mr. World? Oh, just like standing on this stage again with these boys behind me bring back so many memories. And it's kind of hard to explain how it feels to be in a competition like that because you start here alone, you arrive on your own, and you don't know anyone. And you sort of connect in a way with these boys that you can't do in any other occasion or in none other way. Like, it's just, it's, it's unique and it's something that I envy standing here looking at these boys because I've Obviously, I got a handle over the title, which I'm not fond of, but I wish I could keep it a bit more. Um, but during my reign, my, my two years here, it's been amazing. I've seen some incredibly beautiful places, and I've met some very inspiring people, which I'm really thankful for. And also, on a personal note, um, the support here tonight and the support that I have received throughout my reign from around the world, I really want to say thank you, thank you so much. It's really helped me a lot, and uh, it's made it all worth it. And then also, in front of me here sits a very, very special lady, which you all know who are, uh, it's Julia Morley. She's, you're such an inspiring woman, and you help so many people and kids and men and women around the world, and you're an inspiration to me. And I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I'm forever grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nicholas. Now, who will succeed Nicholas with results? Megan Young. In third place is... Mexico. In second place, and the runner up to Mr. World 2016. have given it their all. They have conquered all before them. Who is the champion? The winner of Mr. World 2016 is Thanks. 